You're probably wondering why we've included a dog having a wee. But the point is that actually even dogs have gluteus medicus and they use those muscles to stabilize their pelvis when they're on one leg. Just like us! I mean, not when we're peeing on one leg, but any time we're on one leg. So for those of you who want to jump ahead and go straight to the exercises, these are the minutes and times you need to go to. If you're geeking out with me, check out my cool anatomy model. Glute med comes up here from the ilium and attaches onto the greater trochanter. And it helps with regular movements like the leg moving out and in, a bit of internal and external rotation. But what's interesting about this muscle is that it actually helps to stabilize the pelvis, especially when you're on one leg. So when you're on one leg, if you haven't got glute med firing on the supporting side, the pelvis will tend to drop like this. This is not a bad or a wrong thing to do occasionally. The issue comes in when we're doing it all the time. So getting glute med strong and getting your pelvis into alignment is a good thing to practice. And we've actually got a few cool little exercises to help you do that. So when you don't have glute med firing and you've got this dippy hip thing that keeps happening, it's not necessarily gonna end up in problems if it happens once in a while. But if we do it over and over again, over a long period of time, we are going to be loading into the ligaments around the back and our knees. And this can lead to wear and tear in the joints. Can, not necessarily will. However, it's always worth having a strong glute med because you will actually end up functioning more efficiently when you're doing the things that you love, like, I don't know, like dancing or rock climbing or peeing on one leg. So let's start on the ground for our first exercise. You are gonna do good old fashioned clam, which is gonna get boring very, very quickly. So I'm actually gonna teach you a much harder version of this after we've done 10 reps. During the last five reps, make sure your hand is on gluteus medius. I'll put a little picture of it on the screen so you know where to touch, so you can actually feel the activation. Now, we're gonna actually do what I call clams on crack. This is where we press down through the forearm, lift up and separate the knees wide. So we're gonna make sure that we are using not only the top one where the hand is giving you some sensory feedback, but also as you lift up against gravity, you can feel the bottom one working as well. Now, I didn't tell you, but we're actually doing 30 reps of these. We've only done 10. <laughs> And remember also that as you get more advanced, the quicker you go, that can also be a really nice way of making things more challenging. And then finally, if you wanna make it really, really juicy, you can wrap a stretchy band around your legs. I've got one weight in the wings, and that can also up the ante. Okay, switching over to the other side. Get your forearm under you, 10 normal clams first, hand on the muscle, have a little feel, check you know exactly which muscle is activating. Often what we see is people activate nearer the front of the hip. We wanna avoid that because that's TFL, that tends to work too hard when glute med is actually weak. Okay, good, let's go up into our 30 reps now. One, two, three, four. Awesome, my loves. Keep going, keep breathing, and think of having a really tall, lifted out posture so your spine is long. And what's really nice about these clams on crack is that you're using your glute med, but you're also using a little bit of glute max to kind of create that hip extension when the pelvis presses forwards. 10 more to go. <laughs> Good smile. <laughs> We've got five more after this. Five, four, three, two, ah, and one. I'm suddenly regretting creating this YouTube video. <laughs> Only joking. So we also have these stretchy bands. This is obviously a long O-shaped band, but if we roll it up into fours, it can also become a booty band. So yes, I personally think investing in a booty band is a fantastic idea, but if you haven't got one, you can also double up on what you already have. And these are amazing. So the first thing we're going to do is drive out from the knee as we take a big side step. And we're just gonna crab walk our way <laughs> to glory. And yes, if you're a yogi, these might seem a little bit kind of almost superficial in a way. But honestly, guys, when you're on one leg and you're performing difficult balances, if you have a strong glute med, you're gonna A, save your joints, B, you're gonna be much more efficient when you're there, and you'll probably find you actually end up having a better time all round on one leg. Ooh, almost there. Again, nice and tall through your posture. Drive out from the knee, don't collapse. Ah, 
Awesome. So turning forwards now, we're going to do what I call the zombie walk. So you are going to step forwards, but you're also going to step slightly diagonally. And again, you've got that knee driving out to create the step forwards. We're also going to do the same thing, but backwards. As you do these, check your feet aren't collapsing. Oh man, all in the name of peeing on one leg effectively. Good, and let's crab walk it backwards for the last one. Whee! If you're loving it, I mean, don't let me stop you. Keep going. Press pause. I'll catch up with you later. The real, one of the other reasons that makes glute mead so amazing is it stops us from coming into a valgus knee line, this kind of collapsed knee position, and that also has a relationship to flat feet. So this again, a super nice little exercise, very basic, but it's just kind of training your knees to go outwards, to actually fire up through that glute mead, and you'll find that as a result, your feet also have to get stronger. We're gonna do 10 more, okay? You've got this. Nice and tall through your body. I'm just praying. <laughs> Please, let it be over soon. Three more, two more, and one. Mm. Relinquish the torture device. Place it to one side. Have a little victory dance around your yoga mat. Yeah, 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 yeah. Coming onto our backs now. So we're going to do good old-fashioned hip extension. And yes, this is for glute max. Those of you who are anatomy geeks with me, you'll know that the big round part of your butt is lifting you up. But we often forget that if you're on one leg, you still need glute med to fire, which means we have to keep the pelvis level. So fingertips come onto your pointy hip bones, lift up and check that your one side hasn't dropped lower, but that your pelvis is level, and then sustain that as we lower and lift. And we're going nice and quickly. We're coming up to number 10 now. And then we're doing 20 in total. As you do these, think of the shape of your foot. So you're not collapsing into that inner arch. Remember, they work together with a hip. Beautiful. Change sides. Hands on the pointy hip bones. As you lift up, check the left side now hasn't dropped down lower than the right. And we're going down and up. So I know this is a very quick booty blast, but it's a really nice one to slot into the session that you're about to do. So yeah, of course you can do this one in isolation, but it's always gonna be even nicer if you can kind of add it into some other movement. Beautiful, coming up to the last couple. Ah. La. Okay guys, jumping up, we're now going to be on one leg, so we're sort of mimicking the action of using our glute med and not just as we would do in a yoga practice by stabilizing our pelvis, but even in movements like walking and running, this next exercise is pure gold. So you're going to stand up on the one leg, opposite knee to chest, I'm on my right leg standing, left knee is lifting up. Without any compensation coming into the knee or the posture of the spine, bring the left knee as high as you can. As soon as you collapse, it gets easier. So it's just about making things a little bit more intense on the musculature. Arms are like two little cactus plants. Opposite elbow is gonna to twist towards opposite knee. Don't worry if you don't touch. As you go backwards, opposite elbow twists to knee, but you are trying to go into that touch. So you're sort of mimicking running. One, two. Three, four, the whole time thinking of your stability, five, six, tall through the neck, seven, inner arches lifting, eight, victory dance coming up, nine, notice where you always lose it, see if you can keep smooth in that place next time you do a rep. Use a wall if you need one. Okay, guys. La, 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 la. La, 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 la. Shake it out. Uh. Yes. We got the other side coming up. Stand on the left leg. Bring the right knee into your chest. And we hold the first one. You can use your hands to have a little feel. Where am I in space? When you're like, boom, shakalaka. Or do people dem one? Then we are ready to begin with our cactus arms. Nice and tall through the neck. Twist. Don't worry if you can't touch. One. Two. 
Now the arms, of course, are fantastic because they give you sort of three, an opportunity to feel where you are in terms of your rotation. But you can also use your hands as sort of a spirit level for to feel is my pelvis actually level? And as I come up, am I doing any kind of cheating? Five, six. And if you are cheating, well, you'll know. <laughs> Seven, eight, nine. Here comes number 10. Oh, yes, success. <laughs> Shake it out. Use that glute med even while you're shaking out. Right, team. So, after you have done this, slotted just before your yoga practice, you are going to be so impressed with your skills. I bet you're going to feel even better. And if you just got to do this video on its own, I totally get it, guys. Time is short. So, if you just squeezed in this, I'm so proud of you. For those of you that are commenting, liking, sharing, and subscribing, I really cannot tell you how grateful I am. It makes a huge, huge difference. I'm really working on putting more love into this channel, and all of the support you guys show me makes that so much easier. If you did want to sign up to my email list, click on the link. It'll take you to my website. Follow the links to get onto my site, and you're going to get amazing freebies coming your way each and every week. to stabilize the pelvis. Oh, I'm losing it. <laughs> you know when you've done three days of filming and you start losing it? <laughs>